Welcome to Gray on Math. We are asked to solve this problem. We have a right triangle, a big right triangle, which is subdivided into three triangles. A blue right triangle, a white triangle, white right triangle, and another small right triangle. And one angle of this uh, white right triangle is alpha, and the other angle of the non right triangle is also alpha same angle and as you can see one leg of the uh, blue triangle is actually four units and the hypotenuse of the white right triangle is given to be 10 units we are required to find the area of the blue triangle okay so first thing that we have to do is we label this angle as a complement of this alpha and we label this as beta this is actually a complement of alpha because as you can see when you subtract this 90 degree angle here then this then from this straight line which is 180 then alpha plus beta should be equal to 90 degrees and if we focus on this right triangle this blue one you can see that we have to label this other angle as alpha the complementary angle of beta okay and next is we also label this angle for this white right triangle to be beta since it has it is a right triangle and the two remaining angles should be complementary okay okay so next is we observe that the hypotenuse of the blue triangle and one leg of this white right triangle coincide let us label this length as x okay so for the blue triangle if we focus on the blue triangle we can see that with reference to angle alpha the opposite side is actually 4 and the hypotenuse is x so we have sine of alpha is equal to opposite over hypotenuse which is equal to 4 over x and next is we focus on the white right triangle and we can see that the cosine of alpha is actually x over 10 adjacent over the hypotenuse okay so next thing that we need to do is we are going to use this identity sine square alpha plus cosine square of alpha is equal to 1 and sine alpha is actually 4 over x and we simply square that and plus cosine alpha which is x over 10 and we simply square this is equal to 1 and if we square this then we have 16 over x square plus x square over 100 is equal to 1 then we simply get the lcd then that is 100 x square Divi if we divide this 100 x square by x square and multiply it by 16 then we have 1600 plus 100 x square divided by 100 is equal to x square times x square and that would be x to the fourth is equal to 1 then we just need to course multiply then we have x to the fourth plus 1600 is equal to 100 x square and if we transpose this 100 to the left hand side then we have x to the fourth minus 100 x square plus 1600 
is equal to 0 then next is we need to solve this resulting quartic equation okay next is we solve the resulting quartic equation x to the fourth minus 100 x squared plus 1600 is equal to 0 and as you can notice this quartic equation resembles a quadratic equation and we can i choose to solve this by completing the squares then we have x to the fourth minus 100 x squared plus you need to divide this 100 by 2 and that is 50 then if you square 50 then you have 2500 then we need to transpose this 1600 to the right hand side then that would be negative 1600 then we need to add 2500 on the right hand side also since we added on the left hand side then we have here on the left hand side we have this is actually a perfect square quartic and that would be x square minus 50 square is equal to this becomes 900 next is we simply get the square root of both sides then we have x square minus 50 is equal to the square root of 900 which is 30 then as you can see we have two solutions plus and minus 30 so x square is equal to 50 plus or minus 30 and x square if we use the positive we have 80 and if we use the negative we have 50 minus 30 that would be 20 okay so next is we need to find which value of x should we consider so for the value that x squared is equal to 20 and that would be it will need to find this length so we have 20 is equal to 4 square plus this distance let us call this as z and that would be z square so this would be 20 is equal to 16 plus z square so z square is equal to 4 and z from that will become 2 and for this value x square is equal to 80 then we can say that 80 is equal to 4 square again plus the value of z square and we have 80 is equal to 16 plus z square and therefore we have 80 minus 16 is equal to z square and that will give us 64 z square is equal to 64 and z will be equal to 8 okay and how do we know from this answer which should be the value of x square so if you look at the diagram the value of z should be bigger than 4 to get this to get this angle alpha so in this case if we make that z to be 2 and it is less than 4 then this is invalid and on the other hand z as 8 is greater than 4 so this is the answer meaning the answer for x square is 
80 the corresponding for the value of z as 8 okay so for the final step is we are now ready to find the area the area is simply one half times the base times the height and if we consider the base to be 4 and the height is 8 and therefore we have this becomes 8 divided by 2 is equal to 4 so area is equal to 4 times 4 that would be 16 square units and that is our answer for the first method okay so for the second method is we are going to use geometry so if you draw a line from this 90 degree angle down to the side of this white right triangle then and you have this angle alpha you form a smaller white right triangle and this angle form should be a complement of this alpha so this should be beta and if that is beta then comparing this triangle with the blue right triangle you have a triangle which is which has two corresponding angles that are congruent and you can see that the, the hypotenuse coincide to a in a single side and therefore we can say that these two right triangles are congruent okay so since we got that this and concluded that this white smaller white right triangle is congruent with the blue right triangle then this side is actually 4 and if this is 4 then we need to get the value of this and because this value corresponds to this value and this is actually the other side of the triangle that we need to get in order to get the area okay so by altitude on hypotenuse theorem this altitude is actually equal to the square root of these two parts this one and the bigger one and the smaller one so if we let this value as a then this should be 10 minus a and altitude and hypotenuse theorem we have 4 is equal to the square root of the segments the square root of the segment so that would be a times 10 minus a so 16 is equal to a times 10 minus a and 16 is equal to 10 a minus a square and if we continue we transpose this negative a square to the left hand side then we have a square and this 10a to the left hand side then we have minus 10a plus 16 is equal to 0 and if we solve this by factoring we have a minus 8 times a minus 2 is equal to 0 and we have actually two values a minus 8 is equal to 0 and a minus 2 is equal to 0 and one is a is equal to 8 and the other is a is equal to 2 and since the value of this should be greater than 4 so we discard this 2 we discard this and we only get this value as a should be equal to 8 because it is greater than 4 okay so since we get the value of a which is 8 and since 
earlier we concluded that this white right triangle is congruent with the blue tri right triangle and therefore this side should be 8 units and if that is 8 then we are now ready to find the area of this blue triangle then we have area is equal to 1 half times the base which is 4 and the height is 8 and again we cancel this so because 4 and area is equal to 16 square units and that is our answer for the second method so thank you for watching until the end of the video please like the video if you like our solution and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be updated for more math videos like this thank you bye